In the midst of the search, Lenore gets a call that adds to the urgency to find McVie. Charles Bunderson is a businessman who lives in a high-rise condo in a wealthy section of Dallas. He confides to Lenore that during the summer, mm -hmm. he invited Spencer McVie to stay with him for a few days. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Bunderson had no idea about his criminal reputation, and it didn't take long for Spencer to start taking advantage of the older man's kindness. He guzzled the premium liquor in Bunderson's cabinet, took his car out for joyrides, and ran up huge purchases on his credit cards. Is... Bunderson finally had enough and asked Spencer to leave. Look, I just got a call from my credit card company. Spencer snapped. You want me to leave? You want me to go? Yeah. By grabbing him by the throat, yelling at him, screaming at him, Mr. Bunderson honestly felt that he was going to be killed at that point in time. But instead, McVie backs off. You want me out? Fine. I'm gone. And he leaves. I couldn't get him off of me. The look in his eyes. It's just more proof that Spencer McVie is a violent individual and clearly capable of the brutal crimes. That's him right there. Committed against Sam and Craig Cisson.